Jill Silva, I saw Beater Bomb's interview where he said he would never do Street Outlaws again. Then I saw another interview where they said they were paid 15 hunch for two weeks. Really? I feel like most like of those kind of guys, like those real street guys, that's kind of the theme with them. You know what I mean? Like they do it and then everyone's like, yeah, I ain't never doing it again. Like the whole ordeal with like kind of how Chief talked about it. Then we're seeing Brian Davis's situation. Then we're seeing someone like Peter Baum right there with him directly speaking about it. It seems like that is a constant trend, you can say, with all of them. But 1,500 for two weeks, so that's 14 days. 1,500 divided by 14, it's $100 a day. I mean, 1,500 for two weeks. If that is just like the, I, I like, I don't know how much the money thing is because uh, with that, like, you have obviously the contracted drivers, then you have like the team captains, then you have all just the other drivers for all the teams, and you have like all that stuff. I assume each just crew or driver is getting paid because, like, look at like each team, like how many guys they have there. Each guy isn't getting paid. I assume it's only the drivers, or at least the people that partake on the show. So the money thing again, I've never really looked into too much, so I don't want to speak on that too much myself, but I think like. I don't know. Cause like, I want to say, I don't, I think people expect more when they look into it and then it isn't as much, but then you look at someone like beater bomb. It's like a big draw for the show. And it's like, I, I don't know. I, I would assume though, the only way you're really making significant money is if you're a contractor with them. Besides that, like going into it as myself, if I was going into it. If I'm don't have like a legit contract with them, I wouldn't expect to be getting all that much. Cause I feel like that's not like a trend with Street Outlaws. I feel like that's a vibe or a trend with all of reality TV as a whole. And again, too, especially with something like Fast in America, with how many people there are, that amount you earn just I would assume just gets less and less.